Alright, so... Take it. Ah, there's a lot to do, as I've been saying. Um... Not only that, I got Yao, and I want to try to see if I can get her some artifacts, you bastard. This bird, hello. And it's gone. Yeah, so I want to see if I can get her some artifacts. Where's she at? Goodbye. That is really high. I don't know if I can do it. I'll try it. that heals for so much. Mm -hmm. 
I know one of those is a four star and it's not really super great, but I gotta give her at least something. Ooh. Lucky. Pure freedom in this world. Stop. Sorry, I got I'm trying to pop my back. Did you know that there is a trend Ow. of people being obsessed with Skara's hands? I can't make that shit up if I tried. There's literally like a whole like forum page dedicated to just close-ups of like animated gifs of just like his fucking hands and his fingers. Like what is wrong with people? But then again, I mean, if we have people that, that are obsessed with like foot fetishes, then I can understand hand fetishes, since there are some people that are like professional hand models for stuff. But it's just fucking, ge it's getting weird at this point. <laughs> Running around, the speed of sound. Yeah. You are not welcome here. Swift and You're dead. Search for it. Fine, like horribly distracted. For my blade. Swarm fury. From whence you came, I touch the frost. 
kind of funny because I can't hit him. Motherfucker! You son of a bitch, Kara. was like super painful. She's like, let me just thrust both my blades directly into you. It is hilarious. Thousand. Oh my God. I still have how many OG pulled up. I've had it pulled up this whole time. Yeah, my phone was at 45 and now it's at. Uh, it was at 75, now it's at 45. So my battery is drained a lot. Playing on Mioji on my phone, it kills the battery fast. I just have it on playing in the background because you can set the game to play when it's on. See, I don't think I can give that to her. Oh my god. Leg. Fucking leg. Leg. Oh my god, this is painful. energy well, what is she wielding she doesn't have one they're both four stars they're not great but I don't know what to do She still doesn't have a flower. I broke it. It's energy recharge. Okay, I know what I can do. But no, but maybe I better not, because I don't even know what hers is. It's defense. a lot. 
Yep, you have to go to statue. I'm like, whatever. What do you know? There's my five star flower I was hoping for, you bastard.
Probably shouldn't be using my food items anymore. I should probably just go to the statue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nightmare. I was trying to let it sit for a minute so that it could load. Bonk. Well, she has, what, three five stars? That's not fucking great. is it to claim it 40 well I guess we'll have to go do the other mission because I need to go find something for Zhang Li so let me go to the statue over here and heal well she has three five stars but the other two I need to get but it's taking me too long to do it and uh, I don't know I need to start making progress on other stuff because I'm recording too many videos and I mean, I don't really care. Everybody knows I upload my videos in clusters. What? Why would you just drop him like that? What the hell? Like, what? Uh. Why would they do that? Oh my god. I don't understand what happened. Wasn't he supposed to teleport to the statue? Why did it just... Did he fall through something? What? My game is on crack. Literally. Is, is my statue bugged? Is that what it is? Where is it? No, seriously, where the fuck? Where's my fucking... Is it up there? He must have fell through it. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what happened. Sometimes when I'm in loading screens, um, the game is still happening in real time in the background, even if I can't see it. And sometimes when I teleport from place to place like that, my characters will fall through the ground because they load in before everything else does. Because it doesn't take much memory to load just the character by himself. So it loaded him, but not everything else. So what I'm guessing happened was he loaded first. Um, and then it dropped him through the mountain. There goes my flapping glitch. Skrrr! That's another error I've been issue I've been having in my game for a long time. Where is this statue? I'm so confused. Yeah, if he fell through the rock, just like I said. <laughs> um, where the sound of I guess their outfits or I don't even know if it is their outfits, but basically it makes like a flapping sound like somebody flapping a kite. When I happen to go jump or run or sprint, you can hear it and it gets stuck just doing it. Yeah, I was right, that's exactly what happened. He loaded first before the world did, so it dropped him through it. See, I'm lucky I didn't uh, put the controller down and walk away, because sometimes I'll, I'll teleport to a, an area and I'll go do something real quick. Um, yeah, that could have been bad. Ooh. However that works.
Yeah, it fucking dropped him through it because he loaded first. So what I'm guessing happened, like I said, this platform didn't it didn't load, but he did, and he fell through it. Jesus Christ. Like I said, that does happen. My game does that. It loads funny. Um, the character will load first before everything else. And another game I know that does that is Dennis Warriors 9. When I, Because you can teleport in that game. It's also an open world game. And I'll teleport around. And you can clearly feel on the controller. You can feel like a vibration of the character loading. But like everything else, that's cool. Uh, didn't. <laughs> And they do fall through shit. That's kind of funny. But also kind of like, what the fuck? And he seriously would have died. If I wouldn't have been holding the controller, and I wouldn't have known that he would have dropped like that, I would have fucking killed him. They are actively trying to kill my Skyra. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's the Eye of the Storm. I could fight it, but it's kind of annoying in that, uh... It's like, you can't hit him unless you have a catalyst or a bow character. I know I have Scar as a catalyst, but he's also Animo. And I don't think I would be able to do much damage to it. It would be fucking pointless. Woo. When I come through, uh, back to Leoa, it makes me think of my old Leoa layouts and how I never used them in a long time. I basically, once I got the Samaru layout, it's like the main one that I use now. When my Leoa one used to be my favorite layout in my Serenity Pot. Speaking of Serenity Pot though, since I got Yao, I need to go put her in there and talk to her. Because characters will have new lines. <laughs> and because she's new... I'm kind of curious as to what she says. As to what she'll say. The characters only ever talk to you three times though. There's only three friendship levels. They talk to you at level one, level four, and eight. And that's it. So, that's why I'm trying to look at their friendship levels. They talk to you at level one, they talk to you at four, and then they talk to you again at eight. And then that's like it. Hello, Shao. Uh, what I was saying in one of my other videos, somebody was asking me who I liked more between Xiao and Sino. Because they had, there's two different scenes, one where Xiao saves you and one where Sino saves you. And they were saying, who do you like more? It's like, I like Xiao a lot. Really, I do, but I like Sino a lot too. And I feel like Xiao, he's, he's not human, he's an adeptus, he's, his true form is of fucking bird for fucking crying out loud um he's so angry like his true form is a bird um and it's even tattooed on his arm as where he has magical powers and shit I feel I feel like who it would be to better who, who could defend you better I probably would say Xiao but the fact that Sino is just merely a human and he was able to save you from a cave in from a pyramid that was being filled up with sand, the fact that he was just a mere mortal and he was able to get you out plus himself, I want to say Sino. Because so she's almost at 8. When she, once she gets to 8, she'll say something to me, so... Her as well. I broke it. You can still hear her. My game's been doing all kinds of weird shit lately. My character dialogue will cross over to other characters' screens. And then every once in a while, when I teleport from place to place, characters fall through the fucking ground. Don't fear, yeah, I was here. So I gave her the Leo wings because it matches her color scheme, but she's a Dendro character, but I don't got the Dendro wings yet, so I can't give them to her. She is surprisingly fucking small. It kind of feels weird. Because of how small she is. Damn, it's way over there. What the fuck? There's a point literally right there, so... 
Problem is, is if I have to fight something, I'm not great with this character. She's a polearm. Um, but I don't have her built yet. I literally just got her in my last video. Um, it's funny, there's some characters I get them right away and I level them up to like 50 or 60 instantly. Ow. As I was saying, this song reminds me of Chung Yin. Man, Chung Yin's been one of my favorite characters since I got him. Some people don't like him, but he's he's one of my absolute favorites. I adore this fucking character. What I was saying is some characters I can level them up easily, and some characters I can't. Like, I get them and level them to 50 right away, and then there's others that take me a while. Why am I hitting them when I can do this? What did I literally just say? When I was like, if I have to fight something, it's gonna be absurd. I'm not great with her, but well, I mean, if I <laughs> put it this way, whatever she can't do, Scar will be able to. He's basically like the strongest character on my team in terms of attack. Oh, hello. Yeah. And so I met myself before the waterfall. A short and slender figure rescues a drowning man. Are you okay? Did I make water go down the wrong pipe? This is either a good thing or a bad thing to wake up to three girls over you. Two of them I wouldn't even dare in that situation because they look too young. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> I, uh, I think I'm okay now. Thank you so much. You're from Fontaine, aren't you? That was scary. Well, at least you're all right. I'll fix your safety in here. Oh, a little girl? She's like, motherfucker, I'm 20. Greetings, everyone. My name is Yaya. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, it's funny because I just got her and I was her running past her hilarious Whoa. doppelganger. She's so <laughs> My name's Pina, and this is the Traveler. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> I'm Dvorak, a musician, a musician from, from Fontaine. Fontaine. Fucking called it. I came, I came through Stone, Stone Gate, Gate intending to head towards the Yue Harbor, Harbor, but then, then I became captivated, captivated by the beautiful, by the beautiful scenery. scenery. And, and before, before long, long, I was completely was lost. lost. Lost in water, you mean? Just, Just now, now, I was, I was so mesmerized, mesmerized by the waterfall, waterfall that I slipped, slipped and fell into the water. water. If it if weren't for Miss Yao Yao's help, I shudder to think what might have happened. happened. This song hits different for me. Because I listened to it when I had COVID, when I was sick, I used this song in my recovery. And I'm not just saying that. When I was sick with COVID, I was really upset and depressed and was really worried about if I was going to survive it because me and my family had it. And this song lifted me. I remember when I found out that I had it and I was so upset and depressed. And I was playing this. I was descending near the Oceanid with Chang Yun. And when it came on, I started to sing the song. And I remember kind of tearing up because I didn't know if what was going to go wrong or what was going to happen if I was going to survive it. And I actually used that song in my recovery, and I recovered, so... It's alright, Mr. Dvorak. Dvorak. The splashing around the bottom, bottom of the waterfall, waterfall means the stone path, path is always wet and, and slippy. You definitely, definitely have to be careful. Right. Next, Next time you're exploring an unfamiliar environment, environment try, to try to focus, focus on what's right in front of you. you. Don't, Don't let, let your mind wander, wander. as long as you watch your step. Accidents like this won't happen anymore. Yes, ma'am. I understand. I'll remember to be more careful next time. He's being scolded by a kid. Oh, are you hungry, sir? Oh, uh, 
I'll be fine. <laughs> Please, sir, it's quite all right. I was born and raised here in the U.A. It's only natural for me to extend my hospitality to any guests who are passing through. I expect you still have quite a long journey ahead of you. It's very important to keep your energy levels up. I still have some lotus flower crisps left in my backpack. Why don't we split them between the four of us? This song. It reminds me of Chung Yoon, but like I said, because I used this song in my recovery when I was sick, it really hits different for me. It really does. <laughs> You're, You're welcome! welcome. Mmm, so tasty! Wow. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, shit. No, oh, that bouncing more. You already had the Slumpter Beast chair. Having a healthy appetite is a good thing. <clears throat> it means time I'm still growing. If I had known I was going to run into you, I would have made a second batch. Hope, Hope you're taking you notes, Traveler! This, this is, is how, how you, you treat, treat your primer! I will drown you in this waterfall. What do you, what think, do you think, sir? Are, are there any snacks, snacks to your taste? taste? I wonder oh, if they're, they're not sweet enough. enough. This, this angle looks suspicious as fuck. No, 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 no they're, they're perfect. perfect. When, when I was, I was traveling, traveling through Mondstadt, Mondstadt, I had a chance to try one of their moon pies. They had a meat filling unlike these crisps. But, but apart, apart from, from that, that, it seems like they, they follow, follow a similar, similar cooking, cooking process. process. Both, Both are delicious, delicious in their own way. way. As, As for Fontaine's, Fontaine's cooking, though... It's been, it's been a long time since I've had a taste of home. Sounds like you spend a lot of time on the road, huh? I do. It's, it's part, part of my job. job. I'm, I'm one, one of the main, main organizers of the Iridescence Tour. Iridescence Tour? That sounds somewhat familiar. The Iridescence Tour is one of the biggest music festivals in Fontaine. We're, We're looking, looking to expand, to expand though. though. Our, Our aim, aim is to hold, to hold a festival, festival in every nation. nation. At, least, At least, all the, all the main, main organizers, organizers share this goal. Unfortunately, unfortunately it's, it's a long, a long story, story, so I'll, I'll spare, spare you the details. details. But, anyway, but anyway, so, so the, the main, main reason I'm traveling all around to that is to promote our music festivals. But I have some personal reasons, too. Well, what are they? Just tell us already! Our complete strangers, why would he tell us anything? Let me see. Well... To explain, to explain it in full, I'd have to start with a story from my ancestors. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, I love listening to stories! Mm -hmm. We need to hear you too! Okay, okay. then I'll start from the beginning. The story goes that my ancestor, who was also a traveler, once slipped and fell into a lake during his travels. As he was sinking and gasping for breath, he heard a wondrous tune in the air. They say it was the most beautiful, moving melody he had ever heard, even in that life and death moment. The ethereal music seized his full attention, and almost made him forget the fact that he was drowning. When he finally came to, he found that he had already been brought ashore. Not too far from him stood an unfamiliar woman with an almost divine aura. Let me guess, it was the fucking Hydro Archon. Once, Once she saw that he was no longer in danger, danger she left. She without, without a word, word. my ancestor tried, tried to run after her to give us thanks, thanks. But, but although a mere dozen paces separated them, no matter how quickly he gave chase, he drew no closer and remained a dozen paces behind. In the end, all he could do was to bow in thanks to the woman as he watched her walk away towards the rivers and mountains in the distance. Before at last, he turned around and made his way home. Once, Once he returned, he returned to, Fontaine, to Fontaine, he began to learn an instrument, instrument so that he could spread his story far and wide, just, just like, like the Bards. Like Venti. After, After generations of retelling, retelling embellishing, and dramatizing, and dramatizing people, people have come, come to think of that lady as something like a fairy. I bet you it's the Hydro Archon. The, the story's become, become something of a local legend in Fontaine. Fontaine. It's called the Lady Overlooking the Lake. People now say that if you go down to the lakeside and play an instrument, so, so long, long as you play, play a pleasing melody, melody you will hear a fairy lady who is hiding out of sight, sight playing, playing along with you. Wow! At its heart, it is a true story. At its heart is a true story. I feel like it's supposed to be at its heart it is. 
they're forgetting it is. Exactly. exactly. It, it may just, just be a legend, legend to others, others but, but for me, it's, it's a, a real, real part of my family history. history. I, I wanted, wanted to find, find out the truth, truth of this tale. tale. So, so I, decided I decided to retrace my ancestors' steps and search for that lady's modern-day descendants. Of course, there's no way of knowing where my ancestor fell into the lake all those years ago. So I always knew that the search would be akin to looking for a needle in a haystack. I've spent many years on the road now, and I'm nowhere near as fit as I was in my youth. The wish that I've spent half my life chasing after has now become something of an obsession. Well, I haven't lived half of my life yet, but still... I understand how you must feel. I turned 30 this year. I, I guess I haven't really lived half my life yet either. But it sure feels like it. <laughs> I did too! It's like... Imagine if you saved the center of a lotus flower, Chris. Which isn't the best part, by the way. Because you want to keep eating another day. But then suddenly... Splash! It falls into the water and everything is that look on Lumine's face is like, shut the fuck up, Paimon, you moron. Paimon would definitely remember that for the rest of your lives. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to feel sorry for me. I have made some progress over the years. For example, I've concluded that the story must have taken place in Liyue. Oh, so you finally found a lead? Yes, in fact, that's an intriguing story in and of itself. I'd always known that Mondstadt is the city of song and freedom. But, but more recently, more recently I, heard I heard that the that animal, animal Archon returned, returned to Mondstadt for a festival in the fall, and, and learned, learned that, that he himself is a patron deity, deity of music. Uh, I guess you can say Venti is that. So, so I, prayed I prayed for the Animal, animal Archon's guidance, guidance in the Mondstadt, Mondstadt Cathedral, and as, and as soon as, as I, I set foot back outside the front, the front gate, gate, I noticed a cluster of leaves being blown in the wind further and further west, towards Stone Gate. A friendly local told me that this meant the wind was guiding me in the direction of Liyue. So I followed their advice and made my way here. Now it settles it then, it was Liyue. Right? right? You, you get, get it. it. I, I knew, knew I'd, I'd find someone, someone that agrees with me eventually. eventually. It's not just that, it's I am the friend of all of the Archons in this region. I am literally friends with Venti and Zhongli and A and like Kusinelli or Nahida. I'm friends with all of them, so if you're being sent guides by the gods, I actually do believe it because the gods are not stuck up assholes in this game, at least some of them. They actually will help you if if you give them a fucking chance. So the fact that Venti actually sent him here, I kind of believe that he would do that. So, I believe you. Hmm. Are you sure? It sounds, it sounds a bit too much, much like one of those fake, fake legends, legends told by those treasure hoarder guys to scam gullible grannies from Chingsa Village. Red Flowers have returned to the world! Just, Just give, give me some incense and, and a little more towards, towards the travel fees, and I will pass your gift, gift onto the Lord Geo, and ask him to keep you and, and your family safe and well, and so on and so on. Don't worry, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we have a lot of experience with deciphering omens and stuff. We can't straight up tell her that we're friends with the Animal Archon or the Geo Archon now, can we? You know what? It's kind of funny. Like, there's people in these regions who pray to these gods and revere them, yet we're friends with them and we're just some immortal who's not even from this world. I find that truly hilarious. And anyway, you only really got scammed if you handed over more, right? Actually, to express my gratitude, I did spend rather a lot of more on several bottles of fine wine, which I left at the Statues of the Seven along the way. Oh dear. Well, how, how about, about this, this, ladies and gentlemen? Why don't, Why don't I bring, bring you all to Eugene Terrace, Terrace to see Miss Donahue? I don't, I don't know, know very many people, people so I can't help, help you out much. But, but Miss Donahue and the Chi Sing know just about, about everything. everything. If you've been scammed, they'll help you get your moral back. And if the wind was telling the truth, and you want to keep looking for that lady's family, they'll be the best people to ask. That sounds like a good idea, but I'm friends with Ganyu, so... But, but you've, already you've already helped, helped me, me so much. much. I was going to take some new medicinal herbs and plants I picked to Miss Ganyu anyway, anyway, so it's, it's no, no trouble, trouble at all. all. You know no. what? It's, it's been a minute it's since we saw Ganyu too. too! It should it be nice to pay her a visit before landing, right? Alright, right. well, well, my sincere, my sincere thanks, thanks to you all. I will never forget your kindness. Okay, everyone, please follow me. I'll be your guide. Remember, Remember to watch where you're going, going, okay? 
It's funny, but Yao doesn't realize that we've been through Liyue. We're literally the hero of the of Liyue Harbor, but she doesn't know that yet. But she's probably gonna find out. Uh oh, I'm a better job. Oh well, I'll just be a cheerleader instead. Oh Jesus Christ! That's way up the mountain. I'm not going up there. Screw you. That was funny. I was just running by as her. Hello. Or not. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. I was just running by as her. I did not even expect that. I just pulled her out because I, I just got her in my last video and haven't used her. So I wanted to run around with her. And I didn't. I actually didn't know I was going to run into her. That was That's kind of funny. Well... I really didn't because I haven't I don't watch people play this game and the only people I have watched is the voice actors like I've watched Zack Ether's voice actor play I've watched um, Koi Dao Albedo's voice actor play and Sino's Sayu, he, that's what he goes by. His real name is Alejandro Sa, but he's a VTuber as well, and he goes by Sayu. Not Sayu as in... Sayu, like... Not like this. Not like this Sayu. It's it's more like C-Y... C-Y... C-U. It, it's C-Y... C-U. Um... Like C Y U uh, Y U because it, it's cyborg Seiyu and Seiyu is voice actor. Um, that's what the word is in Japanese. S E I Y U U. So he basically abbreviated it because it's cyborg Seiyu. So it's just it's just fucking Seiyu. And that's what he goes by on there. He's actually pretty funny. I really like um, Sino's voice actor quite a bit. He's he's truly hilarious. He really is funny. Uh, he has a, a good sense of humor. That took a minute to come out. Just dancing in the wind. Is there another character that has an animation with their weapon like that? Some of the other characters' idle animations are them just like walking around or... Not walking around, like standing in place while moving. I don't remember any other characters that pull out their weapon to do an animation. There probably is. Well, actually, there is. I think, uh... Ayaka. Well, there's several other characters, but I just can't think of any right now. Uh, Ayaka and, um... Kaza. Why are you... Where the hell are you? Yeah, she has one where she pulls out a sword. There you go. A blade embraces its duty. As a jeweler cherishes their gems. Right. And then Kazuha does the same. Give me the sword. Kazuha, I swear to god. Give me the sword. Oh! He's so serious. What I meant by animation is I meant like she does like a full on mini dance. That's what I meant. I know Yunjin does like a dance thing, but it's not her weapon. She uses like a baton. Wow. Liyue Harbor, Harbor looks, looks very, very different, different from when I came last. last. It's, almost it's almost as if I'm listening to the, to the same, same melody, melody, but with, with a, a richer, richer timbre and, and new variations added. Well, Liyue's here doing mini right after all. It only comes once a year, so they always have a big celebration. It's fair to say that this time of year is when Liyue Harbor looks the prettiest. 
It's also where it's the biggest fucking fire hazard because they release lanterns all over everywhere. Great. Great. Let's, Let's go, go and check, check it out. out. I, can't I can't wait, wait to, get to get into the, the city, city and see it all up close, close for myself. myself. But it, Lantern Rite isn't really truly starting yet, though. There's like people still setting up for it. The streets, the streets are breathtaking. breathtaking. Oh, I'm gonna follow you, aren't I? Smiles, Smiles and, and laughter, laughter everywhere, everywhere I look. look. It's, it's contagious. contagious. I can I almost feel the music in the air. air. I have the urge to start waving my, my conductor's, conductor's baton. baton. Don't. <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying the city. I don't want to run, because I don't think he runs, does he? No, he walks. Right, okay. We're slow walking it, I guess. Hmm. God, that is slow. I think he does, because he, if I run, he's not going to catch up to her. Yeah, he's not, so... I'm trying to make her walk slow, but because I play on a PS4 with a joystick, she has a habit of running. I am now Sean Ling. Um, Hi everyone! everyone. A a fancy fancy here. Here. What, what a fancy that surprise! You ran straight to me! What the hell was that? She was like, I see her walking across the bridge. I guess I'll just go run and say hi and not like I'm stalking you or anything. What the f- Hello, Hello Shinyan! Let, Let me introduce, introduce some new friends! friends. They, they are Traveler Pomod and Mr. Dvorak, right? right? <laughs> I've, I've known them all for quite, quite a while. while. So you already know each other. <laughs> <laughs> when I was last year to advertise a Lee West stop for the Iridescence Tour, Shinyan was one of the few people willing to give me the time of day. Feels like, like I've been chasing, chasing this iridescent tour bandwagon halfway, halfway around, around the world, world but, but I keep, I keep getting, getting stood up. up. What's, What's going, going on, Mr. Dvorak? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, Shinyan. We've had a string, had a string of, terrible of terrible luck recently, recently and every, every time, time we've tried, tried to put on a show, show something or other has come up to stop our plans from materializing. Is that right? Hmm, I guess it can't be helped. So, what brings you to Lee Harbor this time of year anyway? Thinking of putting on a music festival during the Lantern Rite celebration? A Lantern Rite music festival? Yes! Oh my god. No, uh, I'm actually here on my personal business this time. Aww, so no Lantern Rite music festival? I mean, that's not just up to me. Hosting a music festival takes a lot of funding and personnel. Moreover, I've never worked with the Leeway authorities before. Even if I were to start putting something together right now, I think, I think it'd be, it'd be too rushed. rushed. Wait, but we're going to miss the Lee Lake teaching, aren't we? And they're the ones in charge. Uh huh, that's right. Miss Kuching and Miss Ningguang can make anything happen. You mean. What? what? <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity! Well, sure, it might not work out, but it can't hurt to bring it up as a suggestion. That's the spirit! See? Even the traveler agrees with me. Mr. Dvorak, don't, don't let yourself, yourself be put off by the fact that a few things have worked out recently. recently. It just bothers me how the way his name is spelled. It, you would think after Devor there would be an SH, because they're literally saying Shaq, but it isn't. So I'm like, there's just some words you look at, like the word Colonel is literally spelled Colonel. I don't know how certain words make sounds that they're supposed to make. Like, kind of like the Dynasty characters, how, like, Seema's sure it's sure, but his name actually is she. There's other characters' names that end with er sounds when it's an I. I don't understand that. I, I don't think I ever will, even if somebody explained it to me. As, As for, for the, the performers, performers, I can I put, put you in touch with some local artists! My, My friend Yunjin is a well-known well opera singer in Lille. With, with her support in the commission song from the Yunhan Opera Troupe, we, we should be able, able to get something going. going. But what about you, Shihan? Are you just going to sit this one out? <laughs> what do you take me for? If we actually manage to make the Iridescence Tour Landing Rock Grand Concert a reality, you think I'd let anyone else perform the opening act? Yeah! There's that rock and roll spirit! Oh my god. What do you say, Mr. Dvorak? Okay. okay, I'll give, I'll it, a give it a shot. But, but the, the opening, opening act is not act something to be chosen lightly, Shen I will, I will judge, judge your work by the strictest of standards, so please, please make sure you are fully prepared. prepared. Are you kidding? I thought you'd never ask! 
Guess, guess my shopping, shopping time's time getting cut, cut short. short. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head, head back, back right away and start, start working, working on this. this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you, you run into your senior, senior on the way to the cheese shake, please, please send, send her my regards. regards. Okay, I promise I will. Good luck with your music, senior. You got this, senior. Oh my god. So let me see your senior mentioned just now. Is that everyone we know? Yes, yes, it's, it's Shongling. She's, She's mentioned you two before. Shongling's always, always thinking about cooking. cooking. Whenever she gets scrapes or burns, she just, just leaves them, them to heal by themselves. themselves. She, she definitely, definitely needs someone around her to look after her. I know you must have looked out for her a lot too in the time you've known her. her. So, so thank, thank you for that. that. Speaking of Shongling, I am Shongling, you freak. Why do lolly characters in this game run like this? What is this? Why? <laughs> Time to drown. Oh, fish. Come on, fish. Man, she got up out of that a little too quick for being short. Like, did you see how quickly she got out of that? Fun fact, this is the area where I first met Child for the first time. It was right here. And he was like, let me save you, I'm a freak. And then this is where I was when Madame Ping gave me my serenity pot. To run, run off, off anywhere. anywhere. Not, Not a bundle, bundle of energy, energy like you. I haven't I seen you in days, days master. master. I miss you. What the f Oh, bless you, Yao Yao. You, you, you do, do say, say the, the sweetest, sweetest things. Ah, oh, look who it is. is. Visiting, Visiting friends during the lantern ride, are we? Greetings. You're here, yeah, right, Madam Ping. We were also trying to help out Mr. Dvorak over here. We were already taking to see the Kishi. Hello, ma'am. I am, I am a musician, musician from Fontaine, Fontaine and, and an organizer, organizer of the Iridescence Tour. tour. I, don't I don't suppose you've heard of it. Master, master! The Iridescence Tour is a super famous music festival! <laughs> an old lady like me wouldn't know much about that sort of thing. A music festival, you say? It sounds terribly exciting. Hmm. If we could add some musical elements, or if we could organize. We're trying to organize, but... Oh, oh right! right. Madam Ping! How, how do you feel about, about that? that? You're, You're an elder of Lila, and, and you know, know all about Lila's cultural traditions. traditions. Hearing your thoughts would definitely help us figure out how best to approach it. For example, do you think it might be a bit too modern, or is there any other issue? Why not, Why not at all? all? Music, Music pays, pays homage, homage to history, history and, culture, and culture, and it can it also be a bridge between, between different, different civilizations. civilizations. Times, Times change, and, and the music enjoyed by the youngsters of today is no, no doubt very different, different from the tunes, tunes I was accustomed to in my youth. <laughs> Nevertheless, all fine all things in life can be appreciated, appreciated. And, and so, I look I forward to it immensely. Here, here. I do, I do believe that, that my own dear grandmother aside, aside you, you are the, the wisest old lady I've ever met. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> gracious, you're, you're all being suspiciously sweet today. Yo, 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 whatever have you been feeding them? Master, you're in such a great mood today. You're even cracking jokes with the rest of us. Oh, well, I'm sure you must have plenty to be getting on with, yes? Run along now. Don't, Don't let me hold you up. That guy just whispering, what the hell? Also, I, I went to like swallow when I was turning my neck in a different direction.